Hey guys and thank you so much for joining me today. It is Bert Robson and today we're going to be doing an unboxing of some of the new benefit products that I just received. This box is filled with new goodies. So this is what the box looks like and then you open it up and it's filled with products. I mean so much. I'm so excited to actually go through. Looks like they've launched lipsticks and eyeshadows and I'm going to show you guys swatches and stuff like that. So off the bat this is what the new Therial lipsticks look like. So they say that this is a lip liner and a lipstick in one. So when you look at this you can see that there's actually two colors here. The darker color is the outer color and it's supposed to be like a lip liner and then the uh, inner color is actually a lighter color which means it's like um, the lipstick. So this is an interesting concept. It can even create like I suppose an ombre lip if you want. Um, this is the shade Pink Thrills. Okay, you can see there's an obvious difference between the liner color, the darker color and the lighter color here. And then this is Pink Thrills. Ooh, this is really beautiful. And that is Lusty Rose over here. I'm actually just going to swatch a few more and then on my blog you will see swatches of absolutely everything here. I think if I swatch everything it's going to be a bit too long so I'm just going to swatch maybe four of the lipsticks and then I will put all the pictures on my blog and I'll leave a link down below as to where you can see the rest of the pictures. Ooh, this one is Juicy Berry. That is a Juicy Berry. And then next up, I'm gonna go with Nude Scandal because, well, it's a nude and I love a nude. This is divine, guys. Whoa. That is so beautiful. So that's Nude Scandal here. Now, I love this because even though you can see a distinct color difference, you can see that it will obviously blend very nicely into each other. So you're not gonna see like a line when you're actually putting it on your lips, which is great. So the shade I'm going to put on is Criminally Coral and this is the shade here. Maybe this is not the right shade with this eye look or the top but um, I think it's very pretty. I think it's very very nice. I like it. And I feel like my lips feel quite moisturized. Mm, yeah, they definitely feel a bit moisturized. I like it. I think it's very nice. Okay, so now let's go into these eyeshadows. Now, as far as I know, Benefit hasn't done eyeshadows before. And this is their real dual eyeshadow blender. Then it comes with this little blender thing, which I suppose you're supposed to. That's how you actually use it on your eyes. Um, I think I want to kind of understand this a little bit better but if I'm not mistaken I think you hold this and then you do this and then put it on your eyes um, I don't want to mess that up but let's just look at some of the colors this is beyond nude okay so this shade here naughty neutral this is so pretty it actually reminds me a bit of my urban decay um, Naked 3 palette because of this beautiful pinky champagne color and also this beautiful um, brown shade as well. Let me just actually swipe this. I want to see how it feels. Oh, so creamy, guys. Really nice and creamy. Wow. That is so pretty, guys. Look at that. That is just so pretty. I'm going to put swatches and everything of all of these on my blog, so be sure to check that out. Um, next up is Sexy Smoking. Let's see. So Sexy Smoking is actually just a chocolate brown and then it's also got a taupey shimmer color as well. Okay, so Kinky Khaki is very cute because you don't often see a khaki um, shade in my opinion. I don't see khaki shades and palettes and stuff very often. But khaki is a beautiful color and it comes with a beautiful like stony shimmer color which is the brown shade and then it's obviously the khaki shade as well. So this is Brazen Bronze and this is again just a beautiful like dark brown color with a beautiful champagne shade as well, shimmer. To me this looks very similar to Beyond Nude. Okay so this is Beyond Nude and this is Brazen Bronze and to me they look almost identical, can you see that? 
I feel like Braids and Bronze and Beyond Nude are almost identical, so if I was you, I'd only get one of them. There's no need to have both. Okay, so this is Bombshell Brown. Again, I feel like these basic sort of brown shades, you wouldn't need to have more than one. I feel like you could always just go with uh, Beyond Nude or um, Brazen Bronze and it would be basically almost the same thing as this one. Okay, so this is Easy Smoking and this is again a very chocolatey color and it's got a beautiful gold shimmer color as well with it. Beautiful combo. I mean, you could create a whole look with just using this. So the last shade is Provocative Plum. The last shade is Provocative Plum and this is a beautiful um, plum color. And then it's got a, like a light pink lilac -y sort of um, shimmer shade with it. Um, very beautiful. I actually want to swatch this so that I can see um, how it looks. So when you swatch it, that's what you see. So I've just swatched three of the shades here and you can see that it actually, when you swatch it like just in the packaging, the dark shade comes on top and then the light shade at the bottom. I feel like a lot of these lighter shades are very similar to each other. Obviously it's not going to swatch nice because it's like multi shades, but you can kind of see it does definitely feel very smooth and silky on my skin and it does feel like it would blend very well into the skin as well. I feel like it needs to do a little bit more investigation when it comes to these products. But for now, I'm definitely going to leave a link down below to my blog post. I will actually try out these lipsticks and see what kind of wearing power they have in terms of staying power and that sort of thing. Um, for now, they do feel very creamy. I like this. I think the color is very pretty on my lips. Maybe it doesn't go with the eye look though. But um, other than that, I think it's pretty. Um, the eyeshadows, I'm definitely going to try and see what sort of looks you can um, create. I'm also very interested in trying out this applicator and seeing what it's about. Um, I don't typically use applicators that come with eyeshadows i tend to use my eyeshadow brushes but again i'm interested to see what this is all about and you will find all of that in my blog post so be sure to check it out if you enjoyed the video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel guys i am putting out so many videos you're gonna be so excited i'll see you guys next time bye